Image editing affords photographers the opportunity to push the boundaries, sometimes stretching the limits of what's real. By merging multiple photos and experimenting with their opacity, you can distort perspectives, reveal additional depths to the frame and create something truly unique. The secret to unlocking these powerful special effects lies in Affinity Photo 2 and the software's layer and blending mode features, which offer users a high degree of precision over how they want to manipulate multiple layers and images. The look of the final image, in our case, is reminiscent of the film Inception, where perspective and horizon lines can be stretched and warped to create something very out of the ordinary. But the real weapon with this technique is your own imagination. So let's see how this technique comes together. With both your images open in Affinity Photo 2, make sure you're in the Photo Persona. If you're not, just head to the top left of the interface and click on this icon. Select your top image first, which in our case is the image of a boat. We need to select all the pixels, so head to the top of the interface and click the Select option. Scroll down and select all. The selection will be confirmed by the marching ants surrounding the frame. Now head up to Edit and scroll down to Copy to copy all of the pixels to the clipboard. You can now close down this image as we don't need it any longer. Back at our background image, we head up to Edit and click on Paste. And the new pixels of the boat layer will become visible and you'll see in the Layers panel that a new layer has been created ready for you to work on. Now, it's highly likely that the new layer won't fit over your background image perfectly, which is, you know, the case in our image here. So head to the toolbar and select the Move tool. And the keyboard shortcut for this is V. When you click on it, boundary box will appear and all you need to do is pull out the corner handles and resize the frame to whatever tastes you like. Now, this is where the real magic happens. We're going to head to the Layers panel. And the blending mode is set to normal by default, but we're going to change this. Now, it will depend on the different tones in your background image as to what you set your blending mode to. But in my case, screen works perfectly. And you'll see that the pixels in the background image have seeped through, but we're retaining a lot of detail in the top image, the boat layer. So it already looks like the boat is sailing on top of the sky. As every image will be different, it's worth knowing a couple of tricks to further fine-tune the layer manipulation. The first is the easiest, and all you have to do is head to the Layers panel and change the Opacity layer. In our case, we want it quite high, so let's set it back to 100%. The more extreme option is to select your top layer and click Command and J to duplicate it. In our case, this gives far too much detail on the top layer, so we're going to undo this. Now it's time to start adding those final bits of polish to our creation. I want the city to look underwater, but it isn't quite blue enough. So I'm going to select the background image, head down to the adjustments icon, which is identified by a half black, half white circle. Click on it and scroll down to lens filter. When the dialog box appears, you can change the color of this. So I'm going to select it to blue. And you could also change the optical density to increase the strength of this effect. So I'm going to really ramp this up and give a sort of really underwater blue feel to this area here. Make sure that this adjustment layer is in between your background layer and your top layer. If it's at the top, it will affect the whole image and we don't want that. Lastly, I'm just going to repeat this process, but this time select a brightness and contrast adjustment. I'm just going to ramp up the contrast a little to make the image punch. All you need to do now is to head to File, scroll down to Export, and you can save the file in your chosen format, whether that be a JPEG, TIFF, PSD, or whatever you like. Well, there we go. Have fun experimenting with multiple images and blending modes in Affinity Photo 2, and I'll see you next time.